हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कैविटेशन वर्सेस फ्लैशिंग व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कैविटेशन एंड फ्लैशिंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो एंड दिस इज द बेसिक वीडियो ओके व्हेन एवर यू आर डीलिंग विद पंप कंट्रोल वॉल्स पाइपिंग सिस्टम टर्बाइन सिस्टम राइट सो द कैविटेशन एंड फ्लैशिंग कुड अकर सो दिस इज द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट बट यू मस्ट नो इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन अ प्लांट इन डी सी एस और वेदर यू आर अ प्रोसेस इंजीनियर इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इंजीनियर और इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर मेंटेनेंस इंजीनियर सो दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो राइट सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर वीडियो विथ वट इज कैविटेशन राइट एंड इफ यू वॉच अवर वीडियो सो यू कैन सी डेट वी हैव made so many videos about the cavitation okay and as well as about the centrifugal pump right so if you want to know in depth okay if you want to go the science behind the cavitation you can watch over that videos okay you can simply go in the uh, centrifugal pump playlist right and today i'll just tell you about the what is the difference between the cavitation and flashing and we will try to like we will try to go in deep as well so first of all what is the cavitation so cavitation occurs when the operating pressure of the liquid drops below its vapor pressure causing formation of vapor bubbles within the liquid okay let's suppose this is your one pump okay this is your centrifugal pump and it is a impeller can you let me in the comments box which type of the impeller is this one okay now what happens that if you know that at the eye of the impeller the pressure is very very low why because of the area okay the area reduce suddenly and this is your impeller and like from casing when it goes from impeller to casing and from casing to the discharge side then the area increases right that's we know okay and as the area increases from the pump the pressure increases and there is the a rotating part of the impeller as well which helps to convert the energy that's we know right so now what is happening that let's suppose in this uh, pipe there is the liquid which is flowing okay and let's suppose this liquid is a water now what happens that the operating pressure of this water or this fluid let's suppose it is a p w okay now this goes below the vapor pressure of that liquid okay so vapor pressure of water let we can simply say that and there is one term that is very very important and that's why i haven't mentioned here that is at that temperature okay whenever we are talking about the operating pressure of liquid okay and the vapor pressure of the liquid at that temperature so obviously if there is the there is some operating pressure so there will be some temperature right so when the operating pressure of liquid drops below the vapor pressure of that liquid at that temperature so what will happen that simply before a uh, vapor bubbles we can say the boiling will occur that is the concept or that is the definition of the boiling right so when the boiling will occur what will happen obviously the bubble formation will occur okay within this pump okay within this casing we can say right now right within the pump so and it will start from the eye of the impeller so now what will happen that when this bubble and when the let's suppose there is one uh, vessel okay this is closed we can say right so what is happening that the boiling is going on or going on or vapor bubbles form so now what will happen that this vapor bubbles are void right so now what will happen as the pressure will increase in a centrifugal pump so what will happen that the the liquid will cover this vapor from all the way okay now this liquid will force this void vapor and after some time what will happen that this void vapor will burst up due to the force applied okay across the surface of this bubble so and as this void uh, as this bubble will burst up so what will happen that the sudden liquid will come and it will impact to the impeller okay here you can see the impact as well as to the casing surface right so this is a cavitation means the formation of bubbles okay when 
when the operating pressure of the liquid drops below the vapor pressure of that liquid at that temperature that point is very very important right so these bubbles form because the liquid begins to vaporize right and boil we can say at a local low pressure point right okay i hope you understood this point about the cavitation now let's understand this uh, the process we can say that we have discussed right now about the formation of bubbles right then it collapse why because let's suppose this is your uh, bubble void bubble so the force will applied here by the liquid by the surrounding liquid you can say right okay then damage as this collapse will occur so as these bubbles move into the high pressure area of the system they collapse or implode this collapse is extremely rapid obviously it will be rapid and can create a powerful shock waves this point is also very very important now what could be the damage so the repeated formation and collapse of these bubbles can cause significant damage to the equipment okay such as pitting erosion of the uh, metal surface we have seen in our uh, second slide and can also lead to the noise and vibration so sometimes you will see from like if the pumps are running okay so there are like too much noise comes or the vibration come so the one possible reason could be the cavitation as well now what are the effects so obviously see when the cavitation will occur so first of all it will reduce the life of that equipment then it will also reduce the efficiency of the equipment for example your pumps and turbines okay so operation point of view also it is very very problematic as well as the cost point of view also and it will cause the flow disruptions and can lead to the costly repair if you do not manage it properly or within the time i hope you got my point what i want to say and sometimes you will see the the flow description will be there the pressure description will be there like sudden increase and decrease in flow and in flow and pressure right i hope you understood about the cavitation and we will also see the graph okay let's see the graph first of all see here this is about the cavitation okay so now this is your operating press let's suppose your pump is operating at this pressure now the sudden decrease in pressure let's suppose it is happens at the eye of the impeller now okay so when the pressure will decrease okay this is the low pressure point so what will happen the boiling could occur right so okay here the boiling occurs now what will happen obviously the pressure will increase because this is the work of the centrifugal pump so as it will goes to the high pressure region obviously your void web like bubble will be forced by the liquid and it could burst up and that is called the cavitation right i hope you understood the point now let's discuss about the what is flashing okay so as the name suggest flash means uh, like something comes suddenly so this flashing is an evaporation phenomenon right i hope you understood or you know about the evaporation and caused by a sudden pressure drop sufficiently below the saturation pressure or vapor pressure right so this phenomena will come suddenly and if you will see in the case of the cavitation when like your there is one operating pressure then the pressure decreases then uh, that pressure increases right that is called in a in the case of the cavitation the pressure is there is one pressure steady pressure you can say operating pressure then it reduced then it increase but in the case of the flashing it will not happen okay like we will discuss about it due to this sudden drop in pressure the liquid undergoes a quick phase transition okay that's we call the flashing and the sensible heat of the liquid converts into the latent heat of evaporation now can you let me in the comments box the difference between the sensible heat and latent heat with examples please let me in the comments box now in other words if i talk about the flashing so we can say flashing occurs when liquid's pressure drops okay below its vapor pressure and causing it to vaporize okay now please do not confuse with the cavitation as i have already told you in the cavitation the pressure will there is one operating pressure then it will reduce then the pressure will increase okay the the 
प्रेशर ऑफ द लिक्विड विल इंक्रीज बट इन द केस ऑफ द फ्लैशिंग द डाउन स्ट्रीम प्रेशर विल नॉट इंक्रीज ओके लेट सी हाउ दिस फ्लैशिंग अकर्स देन आई विल डिस्कस दिस ओके वेन द प्रेशर ऑफ ए लिक्विड ड्रॉप बिलो इट्स वेपर प्रेशर एज इट फ्लोज थ्रू अ रिस्ट्रिक्शन और एक्सपीरियंसिस रैपिड प्रेशर ड्रॉप द लिक्विड स्पॉन्टेनियसली वेपराइज इन टू द गैस I hope if you have heard about the flash distillation, so that the same thing happened there all as well. Now see here, this is your one uh, control wall here. Let's suppose, okay. Or sometimes let's okay. Let's we understand it with the help of the control wall. Now what happens that there is the liquid was flowing. Okay, this control was wall fully open. Right. Now what happens that sometimes there could be happen. There was one person came, okay, one fresher engineer came in the DCS and he closed this control wall and it opens it only five to ten percent. Now what will happen? You have drastically reduced the area, so the passage will be very low. Okay, so the flow will restrict. Okay, it will experience some restriction and the there will be the rapid pressure drop okay and due to this what will happen obviously there will be the flashing okay flashing will be there okay at this side right there is some pressure let's suppose pa there will be some pressure pb and rest will be the pressure drop right i hope you understood my point okay now in some cases what could be happen there could be the restriction or if is there could be okay like in the minimum recirculation flow line we provide the ro that could be the reason in that case your your downstream system is constant okay the that will be same same for example in this flashing let, let's suppose in the downstream we need flashing okay so what could happen that you will fix your the opening of the control wall be fixed and the flashing will occur now what could be the consequences of the flashing you can see here the consequences okay see if the like your system experience the flashing okay and which is not let's suppose it is not good for the system but it is experiencing due to some reason what could be happen first of all the two phase flow could be occur obviously right and the second can it could reduce the flow capacity vibration could be occur mainly in the pipeline that is very big problem if the area of the pipe is less noise could be there potential damage could be occur to the equipment now if you see here the graph of the flashing we have discussed about the cavitation okay now this is your operating pressure see right now what happens that suddenly the pressure reduced because of the restriction or if is because of the any restriction object restriction object or the control wall okay depends okay what you are using now in this case the see the area also the pressure is not increasing okay but in the case of the cavitation the pressure is increasing but in the case of the flashing the pi is not increasing so what will happen that it will remain into the low pressure and the flashing occurs i hope you understood my point what i what i want to say yeah sometimes the boiling could be also there right so this is the cavitation okay that's we have discussed about the flashing and the flashing cannot be eliminated right so we will have to take proper action for the flashing okay and in our next video we will discuss about it that how to prevent cavitation and flashing okay so that's all for the today's video if you have any doubt in this video please let me in the comments box right so i will clear your doubt as soon as possible so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you